Hello, I'm going to talk a little bit about this gun toe that I have. It's a Katsumasa, likely Showa 20. At least that's what the date is described as. You can see that the Ito is undone, but both Manuki are there. I don't know if the Ito is original, but it seems like a, an easy project to fix. The Suka seems in decently good shape, at least the core wise, but the little push button doesn't work properly. The Saya is a hefty metal case and it, it's, uh, well, it's got all sorts of pings and dings and whatnot, but it did go through war, so. The blade is 26 inches and the handle's about 10 and a quarter inches. Overall, it has a very comfortable shape. It feels pretty stout and it feels like it'd be a, a good practice cutting blade, uh, but, well, I mean, that's what it was intended for, right, is cutting, but, uh, Overall, it, it looks good. It has lots of scratches, but nothing major in terms of deformities. No uh, fatal cracks or anything that really stands out that would deter from it uh, functioning properly. This is the uh, signature from what I can tell. It says Katsumasa Showa 20, third month, likely March 1945. Uh, if you have a better idea, please let me know. Here's some video so you can see what the blade looks like in the overall condition the things that the still photos don't necessarily grab well uh, lots of little paint chips and pings and dings in the paint or the the coating on the scabbard no major dings or anything that prevents it from functioning as a scabbard i will say that the push button doesn't work uh, to release or the latch release that's likely something that could be remedied if it were refitted or restored properly all of the pieces seem to be there. Both Manuki are present, as I mentioned before. The blade, here in this video, you can see there are some smudges, some scuffs, some scratches. Uh, there's some small amounts of oxidation and pitting. Overall, though, it, it's still in, uh, in very functional shape. It's sharp, and it <laughs> looks like it would cut pretty well. I'm actually kind of surprised at the polish level on these military gunto. Uh, you know, they're better than a lot of the Chinese production pieces that, that I see in terms of how the Kisaki is formed and polished, which is a treat. I don't have many Gunto, so I, I enjoyed kind of kind of seeing the difference between those two, because you wouldn't expect it to necessarily look great given its intended purpose. Uh, simple brass Hibaki, um, and as I mentioned, the, the Ito is loose, and it's kind of threaded through to hold it in place. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Cheers.